there are many people in the world that love interacting with animals, for example. And when, if, if implemented properly with Wallet Connect, um, so if uh, there's a way to um, charge your wallet very easily through an interface with traditional finance, then um, and connecting it to this app, uh, many people might not even realize, oh, this is actually using cryptocurrency. And then uh, this will be a nice low threshold uh, introduction to cryptocurrencies in general, because uh, if they want to unlock more advanced features, for example, they'll have to get to know like, okay, so how else does this work, right? So um, the idea is that, that it can, uh, we, can, we can spread this out to more other people and would be a nice introduction for people into cryptocurrencies since uh, it's a technology that's very freeing, but many people just don't realize these benefits that they can bring. So, um, so imagine we click on one of those live streams there. We can see at the top, um, well, function number one, once it's connected to your wallet, you can right away just feed the animals uh, by a press of a button. Um, that is if you've enabled this in your, on the wallet side as well. Otherwise, you'll have to quickly do a confirmation, but it's possible to also enable this automatically for small, uh, small transactions, for example, or within a certain time period, you can enable this. Um, at the top, you can see the top caregivers for this specific animal farm uh, from this live stream. And uh, like you can see at the top, there's also this um, XP bar, which is important. You can, uh, if you're someone who uh, proves that you're an avid caregiver, you will be able to come back multiple days. You'll see your XP experience points grow. And at a certain point, you'll be able to level up. Now, what, what use does that have? Um, since you've proved that you're an avid caregiver, um, you'll be uh, able to unlock the functionality to adopt certain animals at a certain point. So um, the adoption uh, system based on NFTs and um, it's all non-custodial on-chain auction. And by the way, everything in this app is non-custodial, so we never manage the funds of, of anyone else.